Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a video about a niche perfume brand called BDK Parfums. They're a French brand and they kindly sent me their whole range so I'm going to do a video explaining it all and giving you my review first impressions. If you are new here, then welcome. We are all about perfumes here. So do check out my hundreds of other videos. I do mainstream, niche, you name it. I've probably done a video on it by now. So do check them out. And if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button to show your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll leave links below to where you can get these. So let me tell you a little bit about the brand. They kindly sent this um, little description. So the perfumer, David Benedek. Perfume's been with me ever since I was a child. I remember the perfume bottles I used to draw in the living room. Um, my grandparents arrived in Paris in the early 1950s from Romanian and Hungarian oranges, origins. They opened a boutique there in Paris in the 50s and it's been passed down to his parents and he learned a lot about perfumery from his grandmother. Um, and then in 2016, he started this brand, which is located on the Place Royale district in Paris. It says BDK Perfumes was conceived as an olfactory library. Each perfume box, like the cover of a book, contains stories bound only by the limits of interpretation, imagination, memories, moments that touch us and that take us someplace else. Gosh. Okay, so let's let's try them out. So the two new ones they released, kind of like two summer editions. Um, that I have been trying today actually, the Citrus Riviera and the Celle d'Argen. Um, they come in these beautiful blue packaging, which is kind of what drew me to the brand in the first place. Really love the packaging and that blue color. It's one of my favorite colors. The Citrus Riviera is a woody lemon. So at first it was very lemony, um, but it was that woody lemon. It wasn't like a sherbet sweet lemon. It was a very outside, lemon tree lemon and then it's become quite uh, woody lemony almost slightly aromatic it's definitely unisex I can see this on a man I can see this on a woman and um, but if you're looking for something like super citrusy vibey um, in a sort of sweet way it's not like that it's not fruity it's a clean fresh woody citrus lemon and then the other one the sel d'argen this one was a much softer creamier like an amber skin scent type vibe very soft it hasn't lasted as long as the citrus riviera one so now let's try some of the others i haven't tried these yet so this one's called rouge smoking so i feel like i can guess what this is gonna smell like the liquid is like a brownie red wow very sexy vanilla. Hmm, I thought this was going to be really tobacco-y, but it's not super tobacco-y. Very sexy. This is like a hypnotic poison smell. It, it, it's a sweetness, but it's like a, a, a Christmas candle sweetness. It's, it's not like a sugary sweetness. It's a vanilla, deep, sexy sweetness. It has tonka bean in, and it also has that deep, um, deep cherry scent, like an old cherry um, liqueur or something. Very, very sexy, very nice. In fact, I don't think this has any tobacco in at all. Um, so don't be confused by the word smoking. This is more like rouge vanilla. This is definitely Paris, Moulin Rouge vibes, definitely that kind of thing. I can imagine Satine wearing this at the Moulin Rouge, definitely. That's good and it's strong. It reminds me a bit of Lost Cherry from Tom Ford. Okay, that was cool, that was very impressive. So now let's try Bouquet de Hongri. This one has a slight pink colored liquid. It's very fresh and feminine. I definitely get some rose, very light, slightly powdery rose with some fruity notes in the strawberry in here, but it's not sweet at all. It's a bit of jasmine, sunback. It's very pretty, gentle, everyday feminine rose. Okay, so next we have Paz Cessoir. Wow, this is really strong. Um, oriental, uh, deep wood. It's amber wood and it has a deep Moroccan jasmine in, but I really get the amber wood. This has definitely got some Arabian vibes here. It's definitely unisex and it's that classic amber wood, almost oudy in, in its smell. Okay, next we have Tuberose Imperial. Wow, this is very Tuberose. 
It's a fresh green tuberose, it's nice. This is a classic tu pure tuberose smell to me. It's slightly green, slightly um, watery oceanic tuberose. It's fresh, it's daytime fresh. It's strong, it's good, it's got good power. If you're a tuberose lover, then you should definitely try this because it's a really true, fresh tuberose. Very sort of expensive smelling tuberose, not like some of these um, where they make it almost sweet tuberose sometimes, don't they? It has a bit of ylang ylang in. But yeah, that's like a tuberose garden in, in the heat of summer. Okay, so next we have Gris Chanel. Gris as in grey. Oof, very masculine. Feels almost leathery, suede -y. Heavy, heavy cardamom here. Heavy wood, heavy cardamom. Very cardamom. Tonka bean vetiver. It says it has some fig in it, but I don't get that much fig. I'm getting that really strong cardamom. I'd say this feels very masculine, very powerful smell to me. So now we have Noida Sable, Sable? Hmm. Cardamom, nutmeg. Quite fresh tonka bean. This one has a sandy note in it. And I kind of get that. Mm, it's getting more and more cardamom. Definitely Orient's aromatic. It's, card it's basically very cardamom again. Okay, so we then have three that come in this dark, darker coloured packaging. Uh, so let's try creme de coeur. Hmm, interesting. Fresh and green. It's got a fresh powderiness to it. I can smell a bit of vanillary suede. It has pineapple in, and I think you can't smell it like a pineapple, but you can tell it's been mixed in there somewhere. I think that's what's giving it that sense of it slightly green. But it's woody and leathery, but in a soft unisex way, not in a sort of macho way. You can definitely see this on men or women. Okay, let's try wood jasmine. Wow, that's the heaviest of them all so far. Very balsamic. That is incense all the way. Definitely unisex, but very strong, very heavy incense. If you like those balsamic scents of things like taboo, you know, those um, fragrances popular in like the 50s with those very balsamic animalistic smells, this is definitely like that. Then we have Oud Abramand. Abramad. Oud Abramad. If we can guess what this is going to smell like. Whoa. It's a heavy, heavy leathery oud. That is some strong oud right there. I'd say if you love those heavy smells here, um, some of these are very, I can imagine, wow, really strong. So we've had a strong oud, a strong incense. You know, if you like those um, aromatic notes, those uh, oriental notes, then this has a lot of them. That's very, very strong, very warm, very intense oud. And then lastly to you here, we have Tabac Rose. Hmm. So this is a rose, but it's like, it's not a fresh rose. This is like a potpourri deep rose, uh, an oriental rose, I'd say. And then we have lastly, French Bouquet. Oof, whoa. That's very, very, very powdery floral, very strong. This is like Jean Baptiste Joy, and it's got aldehyde in. That it's got that Chanel Number no. Five aldehyde smell. Very intense again. Good substitute for Chanel Number no. Five. This is stronger than Chanel Number no. Five. Wow. White for floral balsamic aldehyde again. Typical of the sort of fifties um, fragrances. Gosh, wow. Some very strong ones there. Cool, so really interesting to try out a new brand um, and quite some variations there. They, they feel like that very good quality, um, of course, made in, in France. So do check them out if you like your niche fragrances, something a bit different there, um, almost something for everyone probably. Um, but that's it guys. So yeah, thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.